A lot of to-do is being made today about protein. Are you getting too much? Are you getting too little? What's the best source? I'm Dr. Living Good, and let's break down protein and how you can use it to amplify your weight loss. Protein, we all need it. We know we gotta get it in our system, but I wanna break down for you today the real keys so that you're not overdoing it and you're not just relying on protein to burn up the fat for you. So, protein's absolutely needed. You need the immuno, amino acids to build the muscle inside of your body, but the number one factor, the main thing, the only thing I think you really need to understand is where does your protein come from? Where you source it makes all the difference. I see so many people walk into a GNC, walk into a vitamin shop, and you'll see muscle milks and all kinds of protein powder powders everywhere, people loading up on proteins. Yes, you can use it, you can put on some muscle, but at the end of the day, were you healthy because of it? I know you wanna look a certain way, and if you're look, wanting to look that certain way, this video might not be for you, but for me, I wanna be healthy. I don't want a lighter casket, or for that matter, a more muscular casket at the end of the day. I want a healthier one. And the type of protein that you eat matters. Whatever is done to the protein that you're eating ends up in your body. So I always say, you're not what you eat, you're what you eat ate. Think about that one. But whatever's done to the cow, whatever's done to the chicken, whatever's done to the fish ends up in you, let alone the processing of it. There's an extensive process that protein powder has to go through to go from a form of meat or a form of a specific protein all the way to a powder that you can put into a drink. So for years, I used to do whey protein. Now, if you still do it, it does have some properties to help you with detoxification. It can be found in a pure clean form where you can get a good source of protein. The problem is whey protein also spikes your insulin levels. Any kind of powder that's going into your body has the potential to spike your insulin. Why does that matter? Weight gain. Insulin levels are directly correlated with weight gain. It bogs down the liver, and that's what's gonna back up that sugar into your system, which is again gonna turn into fat. This is not fat, this is excess sugar around your waist. So when you control insulin, you win in the weight gain realm. So putting an extra protein in the form of protein powder isn't always the right solution because you're gonna affect insulin. Next, if those, that protein is unclean and it comes from a cow that's been given hormones, given pesticides, given an unclean diet like soy, it's gonna end up in your system and you're gonna be inflamed. So now you have some muscles, you're taking your protein smoothie or shake, but you're toxifying your system while you're doing it. Why are we giving up, we're trying to gain one aspect of health and getting up another, it doesn't make any sense. So it's gotta be a clean source. I don't like it to necessarily be whey. I want it sourced from something that's gonna work better for our body. I think that source is collagen. Why? It's been shown to not have nearly the impact on the insulin levels in your body. You can source it from very clean cows, chickens, or fish and get into your system. And it's your connective tissue which is going to massively help you build muscle without all the fillers and junk involved with it. And you decrease the amount of collagen that you produce inside your body. That leads to a lot more wrinkly skin, your complexion is worse, and your body starts to break down, your joints start to break down over time. So as collagen goes down, if you can supplement in with a proper form of protein, that's where you can see the results go up. Now, you can get these through making your own bone broth, you can get them through eating clean, hormone-free, pesticide-free meats, or you can do it in the form of a protein powder. Um, like I have my own collagen protein powder, which will walk you through that, but that's where I made the big switch over this last year from whey protein to collagen protein. It's made a huge difference in the insulin levels. My weight has gone down. Thought I would share it with you as well. So switch those things over. Don't overdo the protein. If you get too much in your system, it's gonna get converted to sugar. Make sure you clean it up in a healthy source from meats, um, and get the pesticides and hormones out of it. And instead of using whey that spikes the insulin levels, try switching over to a collagen protein and watch your skin and complexion and joints and see how you feel. It's way more friendly when you're trying to experience real health. Solutions like this and more will continue to come at you. You can check out the link below to learn more about collagen protein. This is Dr. Living Good, I'll see you real soon. Check out the videos next to me. They're exactly what you need as next steps to experience real health. If it's your first time here, hit the subscribe button. Be a part of the Dr. Living Good community as we all get healthy together. I also give free guides, free links and resources, links to our web classes, a lot of resources to help guide you along this journey to help you experience real health. See you again soon.